Honorable Governor, Ministers, High Commissioner, Consul General, Mayor, friends, colleagues, ladies, gentlemen. Very good morning to all of you. My name is Kar. It gives me truly immense pleasure to be here for the inauguration of the new Consulate General of India in Brisbane today. I thank Her Excellency, the Governor, uh, for her gracious presence and the ministers who made a special effort uh, at being here today despite their other preoccupations. Today is a landmark moment uh, and certainly a milestone uh, in our uh, increasingly strong bilateral relationship. The Consulate General here is a realization of a promise that Prime Minister Modi made to the Indian community in Australia in the presence of Prime Minister Albanese last year. It is an acknowledgement as well of the growing importance of the state of Queensland, uh, which holds such an important uh, place uh, in, the, in, in many ways uh, in our uh, burgeoning uh, ties. The majority of our bilateral trade, I think many of you know, is driven by the Sunshine State. Our diaspora is strong and growing, and it's very visible uh, here today in the room. I was privileged yesterday to meet some of you at the University of Queensland, uh, and certainly it was an occasion uh, to, to uh, highlight uh, how Indian students today uh, are present in educational institutions in Australia broadly and Queensland specifically. Now I'm very sure that the Consul General and her team will serve the growing diaspora and students well. They will promote ties in economy, in education and research. Uh, and with the uh, new consulate, I also want to tell the Indian community and people of Indian origin resident in Australia that your consular needs would be addressed uh, in a timely uh, manner and with much greater uh, convenience. And uh, again, like the Honorable Governor, I take the opportunity to thank our Honorary Consul earlier for her uh, long-standing services. Uh, this is uh, my first visit to Brisbane. Uh, it's my fifth to Australia in the last three years. Uh, and, you know, uh, I, I, of course, I, I like Australia, which is why I keep coming back. <laughs> uh, but uh, I do want to say in many ways my visit, uh, my visits are also a reflection really of the uh, growing uh, intensity of our cooperation. Uh, I think uh, what we have seen in the last many years is that led personally by the Prime Ministers, uh, our ties have actually undergone a transformation. I don't use that word lightly. Uh, the uh, Economic Cooperation and Trade Agreement, ECTA, is one indication of that. It has certainly opened up huge trade opportunities for our countries. Uh, and uh, we hope to take that uh, to the next level. Uh, and I, I mention that because I also uh, do recall that Queensland actually uh, accounts for the uh, vast uh, majority of exports uh, from Australia uh, to India. Uh, so we, we certainly see a very, very promising uh, economic future uh, for uh, our partnership, and uh, I'm sure that the consulate will, will uh, help make that happen more speedily. People-to-people uh, -people bonds, of course, are the driving force uh, of our comprehensive strategic partnership. We have today in Australia a diaspora which is coming close, I think, to a million people, uh, and certainly making its contribution to the vibrant and multicultural society here. Uh, I'm uh, very uh, pleased to see that the community has earned great respect for itself in this country. Uh, and, you know, uh, as we look across uh, different domains, uh, you can see whether it is in academia or research or technology, business, healthcare. They have actually uh, not just achieved excellence, but really made uh, a name for themselves. Uh, and uh, what I want to emphasize today is that uh, by doing so, 
Uh, they also are in a position today to contribute to building bonds between India and Australia, and we uh, certainly hope uh, that this living bridge between our two countries would uh, play its due part as our relationship grows. Uh, having said that, I uh, uh, do uh, make the point that, you know, uh, it's as, as part of the multicultural identity of this country, uh, we are very confident that the consulate will also support cultural activities and, and other uh, endeavors which will allow the Indian community here to uh, be in touch with its roots and preserve its culture, heritage, and uh, traditions. So let me conclude by thanking you all for joining us today. I particularly thank the leadership of the State of Queensland, the Governor General, the Ministers, other dignitaries present. Uh, and I can see from my very brief stay uh, that the Consul General would be received with great warmth and will be extended the fullest support to realize her mission. And I thank you in advance.